did a lederhosen dance with a school society that did lederhosen and there was a bit at the end of all of this where we had to walk to the big studio doors in TV Centre and down in London and open the doors to let in the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards who were basically playing their bagpipes. So we marched across the studio dressed in lederhosen. It looked, just looked like a really bad stag do and then attempted to open the doors and the doors wouldn't open. So you can hear these guys, the Dragoon Guard are outside. They're already started to play because they've been told Q and we're wrestling with the doors dressed in lederhosen and eventually all the guys who worked behind the scenes came running in and opened the doors. But it, 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 was, just, it was funny but it was also just bizarre and surreal. Without doubt, I think the elephant, Lulu the elephant, uh, before we went to Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, um, we had the baby elephant in the studio which uh, did everything it shouldn't. It weed on the floor, it pooed on the floor, it didn't go where its keeper wanted it to. It was an absolute delight. My first week on the show, um, obviously you're terrified, it's live, and at the start of the show, they love to have the pets in. Obviously they want the dogs, they want the cats. So um, I remember they had the countdown, five, four, three, two, one, you're live. And just as I said hello, this thing hit me in the side of the face, literally clonked me in the side of the face. And I looked down and it was a dog biscuit. It has to be with Lulu the elephant. Every time I see it, I cry. Uh, it's, it's just so funny, especially when John Noakes slips in the doo-doo. Fabulous. I went to Mozambique to um, a village where they had no currency and everything was bartered. And I remember, and it was my first sort of foreign filming trip of that kind, doing mascara and like looking up and the whole village was just staring at me. And I was like, how do you explain this? This is a pot of glue that makes my eyelashes look thicker. I mean, it's the most ridiculous concept and stuff like that puts everything into perspective. And I think stuff like that really changed me as a person and like my outlook on sort of the world. We were so lucky to go all over the world. I cycled and kited and walked to the South Pole. Big epic moment. I got to the South Pole and me and my colleague kissed the ball, the actual South Pole, but it's so cold, it's like minus 40, minus 70 wind chill, all the skin off our lips, our lips stuck to the pole. So, you know like that moment in Dumb and Dumber where they stick to the pose? Our lips stuck to the pole, it kind of ruined it, it was bloody, there were scabs, it wasn't quite the epic achievement we were going for. She's making Tracy Island. It was an iconic make as far as Blue Peter is concerned. Blue Peter has always been, since its inception, all about making things. That, you know, that started way, way back. And so to have done that one and to crack it and to have all the boys and girls loving it and I have to say mums and dads also making it was just like, it was quite amazing actually. And it was amazing for the programme as well because it got the programme out as well to an even bigger audience at the time.